the next point. We should ensure that whatever we see is clear. That means work is being done, and we can see that it is in opposite direction. Hi, my learners. You're welcome once again to another segment of the e-learning organized by the Kaduna State Government from the Ministry of Education. I'm glad you're still with us. And today, we are going to be considering another topic, that's uh, output device, which is actually a branch from the topic we had previously discussed. We worked on the general overview of the computer and gradually we went to the components of the computer, which are basically hardwares and softwares. And we saw soft hardwares and softwares and now we came into devices under hardwares. We are considering devices which we have with the input and the output device. We saw the input devices and today we'll be considering the output devices. Just like we have defined the computer as an electronic device that is capable of accepting data, process accepting data through the input devices, it processes the data through the central processing unit and eventually gives us our desired result through what? The output device um, under the control of some sets of instructions. So the output devices are what we'll be considering uh, and we'll be seeing more on what they do and how we can go about that. By the end of this class, um, we hope to be able to define what an output device is and also see examples of output devices. Then finally see the features and the uses of output devices. Output devices. These are devices that enable the computer to communicate the result of data, of data processing carried out by it to the outside world. These devices, the, uh, these devices um, on the computer display text, graphics, pictures, images, and produces sounds. Examples of computer output devices include the monitor, the printer, the speaker, and the plotter, among others. My learners, just as you are able to sit at home and view your television, you're able to play CDs um, or DVD uh, on, on your CD or DVD player, and you're able to watch movies and hear songs and so on. Just as uh, all of these devices are used to project visuals for you, that is the images you can view and the voices you can hear. Similarly, also in computer, we have devices that are responsible for these specific functions. For you to be able to type in information and you're able to see what you're typing and to have a desired output, the output devices are responsible for that. The output devices are actually specialized to bring everything you have imputed into the computer as inputs, it, they are responsible in bringing them out to the outside world so you can see what you have imputed and it, when after being processed, you're able to what, view. And we, we would be seeing each of these examples we've stated, what they do, how they look like, and also their function. We're going to start with the monitor. The monitor, the monitor is a TV-like structure attached to the computer, which enables the computer to display text, graphics, pictures, and images. Another name for the monitor is a visual display unit. So just like we have said, like your television, is a TV-like. We have the picture right here. Um, we have different kinds of monitors. Recently, the flat screen is actually more in vogue now. It's been used more on, uh, uh, on, on a computer set. And we also have the other type of monitor. Eventually, we'll be able to see, or in our subsequent car class, we'll see different types of monitors and how they function. 
but for the meantime this is how a monitor looks like it's responsible in displaying all of the graphics whatsoever you're typing using your keyboard whatsoever data you are imputing as you're imputing those data the you are able to see what you're doing or you're able to communicate to the computer via your word monitor you see what you're typing you can make corrections and uh, you can do a lot of things because your monitor enables you to see what you are typing or to see what you have processed through the computer and is another name is what the vdu that's a visual display unit that's another name for what the monitor the text display on the monitor uh, monitor screen is called the soft copy you know anything we call or we refer to as a soft copy in a computer are those very copies of documents text pictures or whatsoever that you cannot actually hold with your hands they are not tangible to the hands just like a picture you snap using your phone you cannot uh, literally say you pick the picture and hold you can only see them but eventually you can't touch them so therefore this hour we refer to as what soft copy documents you cannot remove or you can they are not tangible to the hands i refer to as what soft copy and most of these soft copies are displayed on word on our vdu that's a visual display unit which we also refer to as the monitor the uses of the monitor the monitor is used to display text. Of course, we've said that earlier on. Every text you type, it displays text for you. It displays pictures and a lot of things. Whatsoever you type into the computer, or whatsoever thing that could be visualized is what is what is 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 seen through what the monitor. You can't see through the keyboard. You can't see through the printer. You can't see through other devices, but only through the monitor then it enables the computer user to monitor what he or she is doing with the computer hence it is called the monitor of course if you're typing any for instance word document or you're making any design or you're playing any tv game using your computer um, you are doing whatsoever you're doing it's actually it's logical for you to be able to see what you're doing and know what you're doing so the monitor is responsible for displaying everything you need for visuals. Then the second output device we'll be considering is a printer. The printer is another output device that prints text, images, graphics, pictures, and illustrations on paper. That is actually what makes it a printer on paper it could be on paper it could be on trans, uh, transparent uh, materials and also it could also be on plastics and uh, so on and so forth you could print a lot of documents and uh, the printer basically it brings everything to what you can see and you can touch tangible the monitor brings out or sh displays your soft copy while the printer displays your word hard copy Hard copies are those part of your information or those things you've typed or those, those information you have stored in the computer that you can't touch. The printer enables you to see those things in what a tangible form. When you snap a picture with a digital camera or with your phone or whatsoever input device, uh, digital camera, uh, you are able to only view it in your, uh, on, your, on your phone or in your computer or wheresoever but for you to have a tangible a hard copy you can either keep at home or work with you needed what we call a printer and this printer comes differently so they are responsible in giving you what hard copies they bring out what the hard copies or whatsoever information you have stored in your computer system so we could print out letters using A4 papers, you could actually see the picture of uh, or an example or the diagram of uh, the printer. We have different kinds of printers. Uh, we even have these printers could be networked. And you could do a lot of things. And we could bring out for pictures, uh, we could bring out for papers, documents, Word documents, and so on and so forth. 
So this printer, whatsoever type of printer, is only responsible for bringing out what hard copies, tangible what copies of whatsoever information you have typed of or, and ad has been processed by your computer system. Well, I believe I've said a lot already. Um, number one, here we have the printer is used to bring out what the computer has on the monitor screen on paper. It is used to print text, graphics, text, pictures, images, and illustrations on paper. It can be used to share, it can be used or shared by many computers on the network. Yes, it's possible to have a networked area where we have a, a, a printer that is actually um, servicing 10 to 20 computers all together at the same time. When you have 20 computers that are operated by different users, once the systems are networked and connected to such a network printer, you can send your document irrespective of where you're sitting or the time. You send, send all of your schedules to such printers. They are able to print your document and you can assess them. And likewise, the user two, user three, and every other user once it is what? Networked. So that's how good some of these printers can be and they are very, very useful. The third device is the speaker. The speaker being an output device also is, uh, is used for producing sound and music. There are different types of speakers categorized according to how they are used. E.g. we have the headphone, which you actually have a picture here. We have the speaker. Yes, and for some of our laptops, we have our speakers are, are, are positioned in different areas by different products of uh, laptops. Basically, those speakers, wherever they are positioned, are responsible of giving us what sound and music. For every sound that comes out of your laptop or your phone, there is what we call what a speaker. So these speakers are output devices because there are instructions given to them already by the devices we use, and those instructions governs their what their performance, and that's why. Possibly in a laptop, when you are playing a video, how it comes to you is because there are instructions that have been given to the system connected to the speaker. When you play a CD, and once it's able to capture using necessary or useful players, you're able to hear what those sounds, and you're able to hear those musics. So what, 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 the, what the speaker does is what to project, to bring out what audios for you to listen. The uses we have, uh, the speaker is used to produce sound, just like I've said earlier on, and music. It enables the computer to entertain people with good music, of course. Using the speakers, they can be as large as you want them to be, they can be as small as you want them to be. The multimedia uh, industries or multimedia companies use that a lot uh, in studios where we have musicians uh, come in and do a lot of singing. You have yeah, all of those uh, speakers that enables you to hear whatsoever you're producing. And uh, different people use speakers for different purposes. And likewise, the computer. It is used to beep, thereby calling the attention of the computer user. For instance, some laptops are actually programmed in such a way that when the battery is low, it beeps you and tells you you have what low battery, just like our phones. And when you're starting your phone, there's normally what a call or there's, there's a sound it makes. It's alerting you to know that I'm coming on. And some other alerts that are imbued in different systems are what used. OK, um, the last output device we'll be considering is what we call the plotter. 
The plotter is also an output device that prints out high definition images and graphics. You know, high definition graphics like you could imagine the 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 those calendars or would I call them now pictures that shows the map of the entire world with so many minute area and uh, the different segments or different parts of the world carrying all of those information put together. These are very sensitive information. So the plotter gives a very good definition of very large word graphics or, or, or a higher definition graphics uh, pictures and uh, other images. Those very plotters comes in different forms. In fact, we have like um, the banners we use, the flex banner, and so on. Some of those definitions or, definitions or the quality of images or the, 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 the text that are, are placed are used or are done by what a plotter. A plotter, it's normally larger than the normal conventional printer we are used to, the one we keep in offices that would print uh, A3 documents, A4, make photocopies and likes of them. But the plotter is what more sensitive and uh, it brings out higher definition, just like I've said earlier on. So these are the output devices we were able to consider today. We considered four of the output devices, and I'm going to run through them. And for example, POSI students, you could be asked, what is what an output device? I believe by now, or you have understood what an output device is. Simply, output devices are devices that enables you to what, bring out every information or every data toward the outside world. They enables you what, that whatsoever you have been able to type in into your computer, the data you send in, and the processed data for it to come as what information to you, you needed what we call the output devices. Without these output devices, you would not be able to assess what your information. Every data would just remain in your computer without the output devices. And we saw that the examples of output devices are what we have the printer, we have the monitor, we have the speaker, we also have what the plotter. There's uh, one device that most students confuse for an output device. My learners take note. You might be asking objectives. So, so I da da dash are examples of output devices, except most students confu confuse a scanner to be an output device. A scanner is not an output device, it is an input device. So, you could be asked A, so B. And most students have marked a lot of questions that I've seen so many students subscribing for uh, a scanner as an output device. Take note, it's not an output device. Uh, just like I've called the output devices, the printer, the speaker, the monitor, and a plotter. So we saw the monitor as what, another name for it is a visual display unit. That is the VDU of the computer system. It enables you to see whatsoever you have what typed, the document you're typing, the graphics, the pictures, and so on and so forth. So that enables you to what, see everything you've done and you are comfortable. You can make corrections and you can change whatsoever. It's not actually coming in so right in your presentation through the monitor, the visuals. It enables you to see everything. And uh, we, 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 we also saw the speaker, which is also an output device that enables you what, or that projects out every of the sound and what the music that comes out of your computing device. The speaker, you can play songs, you hear music coming out from it, um, which is being triggered by certain instructions in your computer system that enables you what, to project all of this information. We also saw the, the printer, which we say the monitor gives you what the soft copy, while the printer gives you what the hard copy. Everything you are able to do, you're able to get it what at the tangible form. 
when you have a picture and you're printing out your picture, you have it what in a tangible form, something you can hold, something you can actually feel. But for the monitor, it gives you only what soft copy. And those are what the output. And lastly, we saw the plotter. The plotter also what acts as a printer, but prints what higher definitions of what graphics. So my learners, I believe you have learned a lot. And I'm encouraged that you're actually picking up from everything I've said. And don't forget, I keep encouraging you to what, read hard. Because students who fail to plan are definitely planning to what? To fail. So hard work doesn't kill. Hard work can only make you better. So as you remain at home, study your books and keep learning. And do your best, and the sky will just be your starting point. I wouldn't want to leave you just idle. I would want to engage you with uh, one thing or the other. And I'll be giving you an assignment. So I'll be giving you an assignment to keep you working. The assignments would be, number one, define an output device or define output devices. Number two, list four examples of output devices. Number three, State the uses of each of the devices, that is, the output devices you've listed in number two. I come again. Number one, you define output devices. Number two, list four examples of output devices. And number three, state the uses of each of what the device listed in number two. Well, for reference purpose, you could actually see more information on HIIT PLC, Computer Studies for Senior Secondary Education. And you could also check in Advanced Computer Science for Senior Secondary Schools. And of course, most importantly, and I'll keep encouraging my students to go to what? Google. Google is your friend. You can find every information you need from Google. Just go to www.google.com. Any kind of information, anything you're not clear, just go to the website and it gives you everything in image form, video, and also all text and everything you need to understand. So um, after your assignment, you could actually get back to me uh, on my number 080-364-20271. I come again, 080-364-20271. Seven one. I still remain myself, Ezekiel, Abrak, and Tony. So stay home, stay safe, and keep learning. God bless you.